I'll be Bobby Boo. Keegan really has it in his head right now. A tip a top a like I said last week, I'll say it again this week, Elden Ring is misery disguised as a masterpiece. And after playing the game for an unhealthy amount of time last Yo, week, let's go. I thought I should take a break. Dip, dip, potato chip. But for some f***ing reason, the YouTube gods decided to make this one of my best performing videos. And so I decided to continue playing Elden Ring. Oh, what the f***? Can you go down just, here? You gotta go down through, if you look in your map, you gotta go through the lake. I can jump that, but I'm sure you figured that out already because you were the one that clicked on this video. It caught me off guard how well the Elden Ring video did so quickly. And I came to the conclusion on why it happened. There's a jump scare here, I can sense it. Yep, people died. How the fuck did they die? I don't know how people died. <laughs> Simple reason. Eldering YouTube is fucking malware. I know that's a fact. You know that's a fact. You're literally watching this video right now. I have 200 subscribers. I'm gonna go up the ladder because... Actually... Actually, I played this game before. Do I wanna go up the... <laughs> now what do I get from going up the stairs? Not death. Nice. That's a win. Oh. Cool. Cool, that's actually exactly what I wanted. You There's literally no reason for you to see this. And yet it was recommended to you. Don't get me wrong, this is not a complaint, just an observation I had. If you are new here, welcome, I'm Boomer. And if you are one of my very few subscribers, love to see you again. How are you? Seems a little preoccupied with thinking. Okay, respectable. Oh, he's trying to do the thing. Yeah, I mean, this guy was... Called the Leap of Faith, man. <laughs> Learn about it. No, I think he just wanted <laughs> to kill himself. <laughs> My opinion of this game hasn't changed from last week. I was actually just joking. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I was just yeah, playing. Fuck the Crucible Knights, dude. These dude, that are, my, guy are so pee. <laughs> these are my least favorite enemies to fight. I fucking hate the Crucible Knights. How was that logical? <laughs> exactly. This game is still made for masochists. I wonder what type of battle happened here. But the overall feeling of the game has altered oh, ever so slightly. 50-50 chance of facing the right way. Okay, I'm never facing the right way. Oh, I seen Subtle Pop and I should fight this boss. Now, instead of feeling like a fly on the wall, I'm more of a top tier rodent or a low tier mammal. Still definitely out of my depths, but what are you gonna do? I'm fighting fucking demigods and gods, I guess. So what can you really expect, right? Literally has nothing on me. Okay, easy. First try. I can say though, I have switched my build completely. Bitch, Old build, dog. I don't know what I was gear. thinking. I don't think I was thinking. I had no clue what I was doing. Faith magic, arguably terrible. Just saying, not doing that anymore. Let's go, big deer dead. Big deer that literally did nothing wrong. Let's go. Now I go kill Mog. Fuck is Mog. Mog. He doesn't know about Mog. Mog's a Here's Johnny. Honor the guest. Okay. Now, you know what? That's a boss. That's a boss right there. God damn. Switch to a strength build. Put a lot of points into Vigor. Now I'm buff. Now I'm a tanky boy. And I can actually tank a shot. Makes the game a lot fucking easier. Not gonna lie. I switched from a broadsword to a Zweihander, which is insanely good. <laughs> I just needed twenty thousand dollars. What the fuck am I doing this for? This is not what. <laughs> this isn't the rune farm. If you beat Mog though, you get four hundred and twenty thousand. Oh, having range on your weapon is actually a very nice. I didn't know what I was missing out on. Oh my god, this guy's just getting bodied. Fucking bodied! Holy cow! Another positive thing is that it's a historical weapon. Wasn't too prevalent in the battlefield just because weapons like this usually take a lot of skill to wield. Oh my god. And you know, its range isn't actually get that impressive. But it's cool. I endorse it if you haven't already used it. You should probably try it out. 
Or don't, you are an independent person after all. When playing, my friend suggested that I get this black knife dude and I don't regret getting him. He's fucking insane, but I was afraid to fight him. So I was doing the Ronnie quest line and they were like, oh, oh, oh he's super hard and kind of hyped him up, right? Well, I think probably by the third or fourth attempt, the man gets stuck on a rock. It's not even like a huge rock or anything. It's like, you can see it on screen. Look it, it's fucking pathetic. The great and powerful Lecto, the black knife ringleader, Got him glitched. Got stuck on a fucking rock. I feel so dirty for doing that. I honestly feel disgusting. This is like Afghanistan. Nonetheless, he was so helpful for fighting Godfrey and the Omen King. I was definitely over leveled fighting them and Dead. let's go it was awesome. The tables have turned. Okay, promising. Get shit on noobs. The fuck is that? I understand that this is going to be short-lived confidence, but I don't care. Fuck you. That's a joke. Don't take it personally. Let's go. Clutch spirit. That spirit is actually insane. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you guys again very soon. Later. Original outro.